I was messing around with some computer software to try and transmit JT9. It was a crude setup. My HF transceiver, set to Vox, was sitting right near the laptop. Sound from the computer would trigger the Vox on transmit, and on receive, the computer picked up sound from the transceiver speaker. I wasn't trying for long and didn't get any responses to my CQ calls. But what I did do during the 1500Hz audio tone was I cut my hands around my ears. Moving my hands found that there is a pronounced peak at certain positions. Yet I had formed a crude audio filter. I did some more tests. I varied the tone down to 1100Hz and was just able to have a filtering effect. I moved my hands like that and at various tones up to about 1600Hz I was able to get a similar filtering effect. Around 12 or 1300Hz was about optimum. Then I tried folding the top of my ear down. That worked best for around 2kHz. Now what's the use of all this? If you are trying to work someone on CW and don't have an audio filter, then possibly the filter at the end of your arms could provide some relief. Note though that around 1200Hz is a little bit higher than what people are used to listening to on CW. Most transceivers have their frequency offsets around 7 or 800Hz. You may need to adjust your RIT control so your transmit stays on frequency and you vary the received tone to a pitch that you can filter with your hands and ears. Next time you're on CW, give this a go and see if it benefits reception for you as well.